Okay, today we're doing a lesson on snare drum, floor tom, and kick. Three piece, that's it. Uh, why? Because I'm too lazy to set up my tom toms, okay? Tom toms dating myself there. It went from tom tom in the 70s to tom, I'm talking about the toms, and now they call it a rack. Uh, I mean, when I was a kid, a rack meant a totally different thing. Oh, anyway. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're going to do a lesson here with crossovers, where you're going to cross your hands, and also different motions between these two drums and the kick. Kick. There's another example. Okay, when I was a kid, uh, it was called a bass drum. But the reason they call it a kick now is because when, you, when you're in the studio and the uh, engineer puts the tape on the board, I don't even know if they still do that, but anyway, um, yeah, everything was labeled. Tom 1, Tom 2, bass, and then the confusion was when the bass player comes in, they didn't know what was the, the kick drum and what was the bass, so they changed the name to kick. So in the studio now, you'll see kick. Anyway, um, so I'm going to show you something, single bass and then double bass. Double bass, there we go again. See, when I first started playing, I had two 24-inch kicks, six toms, one floor tom, snare drum, bunch of cymbals, hardware, and I would go into my car, bring everything into the car to do a gig, two bass drums, and a Honda wasn't easy. So they invented the double pedal. Oh, the double pedal. I remember when a double pedal came out. I think the actual invention was about 1971, but when it came to the public, it was like 1984, about that time. Um, about that time, also, the Taco Bell Mexican pizza was invented. That was 1985. This is history. They took the pizza away. People complained. Now Taco Bell Mexican pizza is back in action. But that was 1985. So, anyway, to invention. Invention is good. We're going to try to invent something new here today. Something I actually never tried. But I'm going to try it live on camera. And, um, yeah, first example, single bass. Second example, double bass or double pedal, which it is now. Okay, we're going to use crossovers, which means you're going to cross your hands this way and this way. And we're only going to play between snare and floor tom and kick, all right? So, groups of three, we're going to use triplets, 16th note triplets. You could count the triplet, Napoli, 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 Napoli. In Italian, it's scimiette, scimiette, which is a little monkey. Or um, the way I like to do it. We're in Italy. I live in Italy, so humana figure, humana figure, humana figure. So, one humana and one figure is this. All single. Okay, that's the first one. Four times. Now we're going to go John Bonham, John Bonham, John Bonham, right left foot, that's your three, and we're going to go from snap to floor tom, now you cross, you're going to cross your hands, always right left foot, and then back to normal, so all four, that's the second one, now third one, we're gonna, it's kind of like a quarter note triplet feel. So. Okay. Bottom thing again, but I'm gonna cross. So all together, all together now. One. Okay, last one is this. Okay. 
Now we're going to use the double bass one, all right? So, we're going to start the same way. I'm going to figure it between floor tom and snare. Then I want to bring in my double bass. Now usually, when I play double bass fills, if I end with a right hand, I start with a left foot. I want to do right, left, right with the hands, and then right, left, right with the feet. Okay? So, all together slow. third section. I'm going to use the same quarter note triplet feel, the crossover, as we did on example number one. All together slow. Fourth grouping, I'm going to use my favorite double bass fill, right hand and two feet, right hand and right foot, left foot. Okay, that's half of the last fill. The second half, I want to change, we're going to use the famous prog metal fill that everybody uses. Um, four hands and two feet, 16th note triplet. Real slow. 